Alright, so we got some new leaked info or what looks to be specifications for Nvidia's Ampere based RTX 3070 and to me this looks like Nvidia are doing some series upgrades for the whole RTX lineup this year. Now this leak guys once again comes from Copilot 7 Kimi who's once again got some quite interesting details to share. Now this leak does not only cover the 3080 Ti but the whole RTX 3070 series. Now so far two leaks coming from Copite have turned out to be true. He was right when predicting the irregular board design and he also correctly predicted the specs for the massive Ampere GA100 GPU. And so this definitely makes this the go-to guy for Ampere leaks. But as always guys, until anything's been official or confirmed by Jensen, yeah, nothing is set in stone. According to Copite, the RTX 3070 series, and this includes the TI model as well as the Super cards etc yeah they are said to use the ga104 gpu with the high-end variants using the 400 gpu model and so essentially what this means guys is that the 3070 ti and super card yes they are going to feature the full gpu with all cuda cores enabled given the fact that we have seen specifications that the 3080 series using the ga102 gpu this leak or statement makes a lot of sense from that point of view it should be said though guys this is a bit unusual looking at the path nvidia took with the last three generations we see that the 80 models have been sticking to the 104 gpu for quite a while now where the last big gpu reference model beyond the gtx 780 which is quite a while ago seeing that nvidia is doing this gpu change now have raised some speculations why this is happening one argument that makes most sense to me at least comes from video cards who've got a pretty good answer to why we're seeing this change. The answer is Nvidia want to put more memory on the RTX 2080 and the way each SQ look Nvidia had to choose between 16GB 256-bit or 10GB 320-bit again for the 3080. Now because the capacity itself doesn't have to be that much bigger because of the bandwidth upgrade it wouldn't make sense going with 16GB. However the fact that Nvidia hasn't upgraded the frame buffer size for their 80 80 cards since the 1080, it makes quite a lot of sense seeing this upgrade now. And by doing this change, yes, they unlock more memory options basically. With that said, guys, let's take a greater look at the numbers. Now, the leak claims that the 3070 gets similar specifications to the 2080, who's got 2944 CUDA cores and 8 GB of GDDR6 memory. Now, the full name of the GPU is predicted to be GA104 300 100, where the 3070 Ti or the 3070 Super is instead based on the GA104-400 with 3072 CUDA cores and possibly GDDR6X memory. Now one massive change between 2nd gen RTX and 3rd gen seems to be the memory bandwidth upgrade where the RTX 3070 series seems to take a step up to 21 gigabits per second. Now it is worth mentioning guys that GDDR has 6x memory with a bandwidth of 21 gigabits per second has not been presented by any uh, memory manufactured yet so I guess we're gonna have to wait and see where this ultimately lands. As for power consumption, Copite also made another tweet where he listed 250 watt TGP and 220 watt TGP for the 2070 Super and the non-2070. Based on all the rumors we think that Nvidia will clock these GPUs fairly high and in terms of manufacturing process. Latest rumors suggest we're looking at an 8 nanometer process node from Samsung. With that in mind, without ripping out a calculator here, these numbers seem to be in the ballpark of what to expect. As for release, well, mass production is scheduled for August and Nvidia is planning for a launch in September, where the most reliable rumors are suggesting a media event similar to the event we saw when they introduced RTX 2000 at Gamescom in 20. 18. So with that all in mind, what do you guys think of these leaked specifications? Do they make any sense or do you think that this is all just fake? In the meantime, watch either of these two videos to learn more and I will see you guys in the next video.